Ma'am, yeah. let's go inside. We need to talk to you. You're okay. detained right now for job lifting, okay? Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. I'll take this. I'll take this. Your hands out of your pocket. Oh, sorry, sorry. Get your hands out of your pocket. Sorry. 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 You're going to charge him with forgery? Yeah, because you signed the ticket under the uh, detectives. What detectives? The detectives with our agency. Because it's, it's a felony. It's a fourth degree felony to sign somebody else's name. Nope. Are you serious? You're going to drag it right in front of me, man? Put the bag down. Shoplifters must be smart enough to pull a robbery in public places. But what might go wrong and get them caught? And who might they be? We know you may ask such questions, so keep watching to know everything when these shoplifters get caught. Case 1. On April 20th, 2023, authorities responded to a disturbance at Walgreens involving a disruptive shoplifter, the individual who had reportedly been causing trouble for staff and adamantly refused to vacate the premises, was found to be intoxicated. And make it, and make it complaint or making I people mean, feel I, mean none. I was just mad because I asked her a question and she act like she couldn't answer my question okay all right stand up for me what? where's the open container at? it's over here where's it at it's over there no nope. are you serious you gonna drink it right in front of me man put the bag down put the bag down Put the bag down. I ain't about to. Don't grab me. I didn't do nothing. Damn. I got money. Put the bag man. down. I ain't do shit. Put the bag down. Damn. All right. Do me a favor. Put your hands behind your for back. For what? I didn't do nothing. Put your hands behind your back for me. For what? I didn't do nothing. Because you're under arrest for mm -hmm. disorderly conduct right now. Disorderly conduct? I and didn't do shit. Dude, seriously. Don't Come make on, this. Are you don't serious? make. Don't make this harder than what I it has to be. I didn't do shit, man. Don't make this harder than what Please, it has to be. I didn't do shit. Come on, man. Why are you Stop. arresting me, I don't, don't want to fight with you, all right? Why are you arresting Stop. me? I didn't do shit. Stop. Stop. I didn't do nothing, though. I didn't do nothing, sir. Get on the floor. Get on the ground. I didn't do nothing, though. That's what I'm saying. Because I was drinking. Put your arms behind your back. I didn't do nothing, though. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I'll come in here with the beer. That's it. I didn't know that. Come in with the beer. Let go of your hands right now. I'm not going to say it again. All right. All right. Under arrest. Stop f***ing around. Yeah. Stop f***ing around. For what? I didn't do nothing. Put your arms behind your back now. Oh, my God. You let me stop? Oh, yes. my God. All right. What did I do? Because I came here with a beer? What the f***? That's crazy. Seven, one male detained. I didn't do nothing. Affirmative. Or is it we're both together? Because I came in with beer. Because I grabbed my phone over there. I put my phone on. Sorry. Come on, get up. Uh. I'm going to grab my phone right there. Yeah, wait. What, dude, why are you bro, doing all just, that shit? Bro, why are you running? running? I'm, what's going on? I'm frustrated. Okay, that's not how you deal with it. You want charges? No. Oh, on police intervention, the situation escalated as the individual attempted to evade arrest, exacerbating their legal predicament. The confrontation escalated further when the individual vehemently contested their apprehension, expressing a sense of injustice despite their evident misconduct. Was I said you just walked past him, he looked at me like he wanted to say something smart. Because he was yelling at somebody before he came in, like, you stupid bitch, and then that's when he came in. Went to the ATM, but he went back into the pharmacy. Yeah, he and told my technician that he had to get away. People were effing pissing him off. Okay. So, yeah. He I was feeling his back. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, obviously, he stole one of these then. Yeah, he was I saw him in the house. Okay. okay. The rest of this stuff isn't stolen. What about you? Can you, can you resell these? Or no, probably not. Not the size. Well, we could put the pills back in the new year. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
somebody here able to, is, is somebody here able to pull up footage of yeah. what he was doing? Well, we probably can't see him in that aisle, but we could try to, like, because we don't have no camera. We only have a camera when he was running from you guys. It's a camera right okay. there, and it's a camera by the pharmacy. Now, the aisles where he was putting that in, we can't, you could probably see him a little bit, but it's no right, direct camera. It's worth a shot. It's going to be in the front on your property. Oh, can I get my phone? You're not going to get it now. Come on. My, my, my cousin is calling. She was supposed to come pick me up. Well, All right. I'm, I'm going to pat, I got to pat you down, okay? Here, hold on. Okay. okay. Hold on. You have any weapons, uh, no, drugs? No, no, no. No guns, anything no. like that? He has so much shit. I'm probably... I'm probably will. Uh, well, you have it all here. Yeah, I have another one if you need it. Well, well no, yeah. I'm good right now. I'm good. Stop. Come on, man. What are you doing? Stop. What are you doing? Come on, man. You have all this stuff here? Show you pay for this? Come on. Stop. What? You're I'm squeezing my arm, hey, brother. No, talk to them. Tell them to look at their cameras. His, his jacket's filled with stuff again. Did they say that was theirs? Yeah. No, I bet they would. Yeah, see if he was shoving stuff in his pockets. I want to scratch my nose. No, you're not scratching your nose. I'm not reaching, just get off my arm. Just get off my arm like this, man. I'll stop. Yeah. Hey, here, I'll pull my fucking side, man. All the way down. Fuck you, I ain't got shit to hide. Okay. Get the fuck off my arm like that. What the fuck, I didn't do shit. Oh, man. 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 Yeah, I got money. Why? You need some money? You need to hold some money? Huh? I'm putting that in the property, all right? All you right. get it when you get released from jail. Yeah. You have to make sure you got everything. Calm down, brother. That's harder. Oh, it's you pushing it's up you. against me. Ain't huh? nobody pushing up against you. What the fuck? You want your glasses on? Yes, please. All right. Don't put the fucking seat down. I'm putting the seat on. Brother, no, stop. Put, brother, that, cool. Put the seat down. Be cool. I'm going to get the out of it. Don't put the fucking shit. Put the fucking shit down on that. I told you. Brother, you you want, do we have to hog tie your fucking legs? I don't give a fuck what you do. All right, here. Stop acting like an asshole. Here, hog tie him. If you kick me, you you're going to get I'm another fucking charge, I'm not going right? to kick you. Come I over here. I didn't do nothing. Come over here. No. Come over here, bro. No. Come over here. No. Come on. Shut the up. I ain't your child. All right. You're acting like a fucking child. Shut the fuck up. All right. I'm gonna go over there and try to put it on there. Uh, talk to whoever you want. Brother, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Wow, yeah, sitting in the front. Why are you putting your leg? So it won't. Despite the initial concern being shoplifting, the individual's behavior and subsequent resistance to law enforcement led to escalated charges. The altercation not only disrupted the store's operations, but also posed a challenge to the responding officers. Put your knees to your chest. Sit up. Ah! Stop going. Keep going like that. He's pulling yeah. me. 
Come I on. I told you. Get in the car. Stop. Stop trying to choke me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Cooperate. Don't touch me. Are you going to sit right? I am. You going to hit me with that shit? I'm not trying to. You going to hit me? You stop moving. How about if I just took off on you, right? I wouldn't give a f about no charge. I've been in prison. All type of shit. What are you doing, brother? You! You're Stop. fucking trying to choke me, bitch! Sit down. Sit, sit down. What do you mean? No! Sit down. He's sit trying down. to choke me. What sit do you mean? Down. Look, you too? He's trying sit to choke down. me too? He's trying to choke me too? Ah. I just see you in there. I like you got it. it in? Yeah, that's the Choke me. Choke me, bitch. Choke me. Did you see him? Yeah. We're in the middle of trying to investigate that because when he was searching him, he had all his shit in his jacket. If he if he does that again, he's going in the hog time. Yeah. You can't go for that shit. You play with cops as hoes. Uh, resting back in the grass then. Congratulations. What? Let's go. Yo. Give me my glasses, bitch. Give me my glasses. I can't see. Give me my glasses. Give me them, please. I can't fucking see. Y'all treating me like shit the whole time. Yo. Just wanted to leave her first name, no other information, but she said you were both driving recklessly and then uh, Lincoln stopped. Okay, Mary, check it. Stop kicking the door. No! You. Where the f is my money at? It's in the property bag. Show me my motherfucking money. Then. You ain't gonna see it now. Show me my motherfucking money! No. Alright, bitch, I'm kicking this. Stop kicking this. I'm kicking this, bitch, open. Watch this. Watch this. Stop kicking the glass. The individual's intoxicated state likely contributed to their erratic actions, complicating the resolution of the incident. If you thought only lower class people could do such a thing, well, you are wrong. Watch this rich doctor get caught shoplifting. Case 2. In a surprising turn of events, on the 13th of December, 2023, Dr. Melissa Ivers, a prominent figure in the medical community, found herself at the center of controversy after being caught shoplifting from a local Target store. Ma'am, let's go inside. We need to talk to you. You're detained right now for job lifting, okay? Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. I'll take this. I'll take this. Keep your hands out of your pocket. Keep your hands out of your pocket. Sorry. 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 Controller? Yep. Okay. Do you have any weapons on you, ma'am? No, I do not. Okay. I got sit here. Yes. Do you have a, an Thank idea you. on you? Um, I don't. Let's see. No, I do not. Okay. I have it in my car. Okay. Let me see you. No. There's an order to this. There's What's a it? line right there. <laughs> What's your last name, ma'am? Ivers. I V E R S. Let's do this is quick, slowly, okay? I V. I V E R S. What's your first name? Melissa. M E L I S S A. What's your the other bird? Me too. Mm -hmm. Do you know why you're in this office right now? Yes. Okay. What's your social? Yes. Um. <coughs> okay. There's somebody expecting you at home right now? Kids? Yes. Husband? I have, yeah. a, I have an ex-spouse. Okay. I'm going to tell you, like I told you when we we're coming in, you're detained right now for a job lifting investigation, okay? Okay. So we're going to see what's the total. And I'm going to be very transparent with you. They have more cases uh, work against you, okay? Oh, okay. I have seen that face. Okay. I, if, if I have a dollar for everything that I see that face, uh -huh. I, I, actually, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. So they'll give me all the information. 
and I'll explain you everything what's going on, okay? okay. I just want to do a quick pat down because yeah. I noticed that you were yeah. reaching your pockets. Uh -huh. Okay. Lean forward for me, please. Thank you. I'm going to remove this from your from okay. You guys good? Dr. Ivers, who holds the position of Chief Medical Officer at the University of New Mexico and commands a salary exceeding $300,000 annually, was identified as the perpetrator of the theft.
indicate that Dr. Ivers utilized a deceptive method at the self-checkout counter, scanning items different from those she actually intended to purchase, a scheme designed to evade detection. Okay. 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 Okay, so if your phone is in the car, you have to stay in the car. We can make sure the vehicle is locked until uh, target. We will check. Where's the keys at? I think they're right on my, um, um, like right in the center console. Okay. So we'll ask Target if they're okay, if you can leave your vehicle here because today is Wednesday. And I'm going to be honest, really honest with you, Melissa. Okay? I haven't got your information yet. Right? However, in my experience, for shoplifting, even if it's a felony, it's not a violent crime. Okay? So you might not be out of jail tomorrow afternoon at the latest Friday, tomorrow or Friday in the morning. So it's not like you're going to stay in jail for. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I don't have any record of anything. Okay. Well, we'll double check that, okay? Let's face here the vehicle, please. We need to take out everything out of your pockets because you're under arrest, okay? Do you have any more merchandise in you that, yeah. that you, you didn't pay? Okay. okay. You, you, can, you can stop moving, please. Okay, sorry. Check the pockets, you should need to check yeah. the, the inner pockets. Okay. Hey, listen, I'm going to check yeah. your house. Um, okay. Is there anything in there? No. What do you need to do, ma'am? I need to call these guys. We'll call them. We'll call them. I'll, you'll give me your number, I will call them from my phone in a sec. <coughs> This revelation has undoubtedly sent shockwaves through both the academic and local communities, raising questions about integrity and ethical conduct. Although the cops save the day and might catch a shoplifter here and there, but sometimes they catch the wrong person. Keep watching to find out what I mean, Carol 3. On May 9th, 2019, during regular uniform patrol in Las Cruces, a call for assistance came from Officer Rodriguez at Walmart on Sooth Valley, reporting a shoplifting incident. Talk. But, um... Oh, oh, they received it. Okay. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, it's really what's up? What's up? That's right there. You have an ID? She have it? You done with it? Yeah, okay. I'll bring it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Well, I can't hear you. I'm having the idea that they were still in. You had no idea? No. What do you have? How long have you? Uh, she walked out with that stuff. So she walked out with stuff. Yeah, but I mean, they looked like they paid, and I just grabbed the bags to help them carry it. You know what I mean? I swear, I'm like, I was like, I was like, they were paying. Oh, so they, they, she walked out with the stuff, and mm. then they kind of like, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then like, that's it. 
As she's walking out with the stuff? She had already walked out beforehand, and then they were, like, pretending to put money in there, and then they, mm -hmm. they just kind of just, like, what, 30 seconds be after her, so. And while they were standing, I was actually trying to get assistance because I thought it wouldn't stand anymore. Mm -hmm. So I left to go get assistance, like, mm -hmm. to look for someone. Well, you're going to be charged with shoplifting. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And the guy that you guys got over there, if you can do a trespass? Hoyt Emin? He's not already trespassed? The other one? The other one. Okay. Because I don't know his name. 863? I request you trespass on him as well. What about the other female? Uh, the other female. Yeah, there was, there was another female. It was only two males. They must have met up when they got out there then. Maybe. All right. You're being charged with shoplifting simply because of the fact that you passed the point of sale without purchasing items, okay? I don't believe that you didn't know that they had paid for it. You should have stayed there. You should have stayed there. I guess I should have, but I really wasn't honest to say. It really was. I have money. I have no reason to fucking give them in the I have money out to get them for my heart. Like, this. What's your address, Ms. Lozano? Phone number? Social? How much do you weigh? Oh, your eyes? Well? Soon after, Officer Rodriguez announced a foot pursuit over the radio and later indicated he had detained a male at La Quinta Inn just north of the Walmart. He requested additional units for assistance with the arrest. Upon arriving at La Quinta, a search for Officer Rodriguez commenced while a male subject, dressed in black shorts, shirt, and a baseball cap, was observed, discarding his backpack and fleeing westward across the parking lot. Did you have a I'll get a trespass. I'll bring it back in to you. Lozano, you can't come back to this Walmart or any other Walmart, okay? Yeah, 98. Uh, I just gotta knock this out and then I'm gonna do the from the gas station. The bowl. What's that? Silver one? Yeah. The one from the at the Murphy's? Possibly. No, that's different tail lights. The back end's totally. So that's the original charge? So that citation I get you, that doesn't count because it's not you. That you're not getting charged with that because it wasn't you. So I had to go do a warrant because the time had passed, like two weeks ago. So now I had to get a warrant to charge you with what I originally was going to charge you with. So it's still misdemeanor charges. Does it's it just, work right there? Yeah, that's why I had to get the warrant. Like, instead of just coming down here and giving you another ticket, I can't do that because technically the time in which I had to do the citation is passed because it was like two weeks ago. Yeah, so if it's passed, completely passed, then how can you hit me with something that's... Oh, no, I, I have six months to charge you with the crime. From the day, yeah, from the day that it happened, right? Officer Rodriguez confirmed that the fleeing individual matched the suspect description provided. The plot twists here as this event marks the beginning of a gripping narrative. As law enforcement initiates a foot chase, only to discover the pursuit of an innocent bystander. So if you say you're not getting out, petty misdemeanor, and misdemeanor. petty misdemeanor shit. Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Both All right. Or you could just uh, dispose of them. Well, no, not now. Why not? Because you first you run, and then you made me look dumb and well, lied to me. It's not that I did that. It's not that I made you look dumb. I thought that, okay, this is going to sound totally off the wall crazy. All right. But I saw when they were, I thought when they were, like, verifying whatever the f I thought that was, like, the people who were, like, watching me, telling you to let me go. Like, I know it's not No, totally man, you, you had warrants, and you gave me a fake name. That's, that's what happened, bro. I mean, I'm being honest. Okay. But well, I'll be honest with you, too. Crazy, I'm crazy, dude, but... No, I don't think you're crazy. I'm just, that's the way I, I it's I not just you, it's everybody. Like, what the fuck is this right now? It's not, it's not you, it's everybody. Anybody that conceals, I do the same thing. So it's not right. specific just for you. So that's just, it's still okay. municipal court. So they wanted to do the forgery, the felony for you signing the ticket. Cause technically you signed it under a fake name, but you could get a hold of the under first charges. So that's why it's just misdemeanor shit. So. They were going to charge him with forgery? Yeah, because you signed the ticket under the uh, detectives. What detectives? The detectives with our agency, because it's, it's a felony. It's a fourth degree felony to sign somebody else's name. I didn't sign someone else's name, though. You signed... I scribbled. Be happy. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, bro. You're getting concealing and resisting, all right? That's it. So, 
It's the same shit through municipal court. Like you said, you'll probably yeah, go. But you told me you were gonna hit me with the resisting. Yeah, I had to hit you with the resisting. I told you I wasn't gonna hit you with anything else. They wanted to trespass you from the WalMarts, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Why? Because I wasn't even involved. That's what. That's exactly what I told him. I told that guy he wasn't even here. How are you gonna trespass if he's not even here? And the same thing with the La Quinta, the hotel. They're like, we want him trespass. I was like, how? He didn't even do anything. So it's just that the concealing. Uh, they're both petty misdemeanor bullshit. So. And if you you haven't gotten in trouble here, no. you have a likelihood that. They're probably not going to worry about it because you got bigger fish to fry, bigger warrants. Yeah, you got to. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a PD. That's it, man. Yeah, I doubt. Well, if you get, if you don't go to court for whatever reason, and you get out, you need to go to municipal court, or you'll just have that municipal court warrant until you take care of it. So, Sanchez. the guy that works graveyards. Yeah, we have a guy at Sanchez that works graveyard. We had a Sanchez. No, he retired. Rudy retired. We don't have a detective Sanchez. We have an officer Sanchez, but he works graveyards. And he's just a patrol cop. All right, well, I need a detective. A detective? Detective? Yeah. Okay. okay. Figure that out for me. Send an email. Let him know you're here. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I'll shoot an email. I'll shoot an email oh. the right way and see what happens. Yeah, I think so. I think that's why he's entering all that to fingerprint you again and shit like that. Hey, how are you? Hey, sir, do you have any more questions for me, bro? I'll shoot that email out and see what's up. Yeah, cool. All right, man. No problem. Subsequent developments in this captivating saga include the apprehension of the misidentified individual for providing false identification.